We're going to talk about Anthony Kim, the name he who should not be mentioned. Ten years, a ghost from golf. And now he makes his triumphant return. He is my guy because he represents the alpha team Korean males like I do as well. How is he going to go to the PGA Tour when the PGA Tour is always pitching itself as meritocracy and you got to do all this stuff to qualify? But now what's his qualifications? A couple of sponsors exemptions. It makes no sense. There's no way to me he goes to the PGA Tour. It's got to be the, the dream moment for Liv. I think he'd be great too. I think this is his chance. He'd be, he'd be so accepted and loved, dude. It'd be wild. He deserves it. He's it's like a feel good story around golf, Cheech. Like everyone's excited. Anthony Kim's coming back. He's going to be on the course. We're going to see his belt buckles. We're going to see him crushing golf balls. Like we're pumped about Anthony Kim, except for Golf Digest, who we know carries the water from PGA Tour. This is an obvious hit piece to soften up, right? The blow when AK comes to live. I, you got to believe that. You've seen this done before. It's the same. It's the same sad thing you do. These guys are always like some kind of jilted, crazy ex-girlfriend. They they know you're gonna head over to better shores, and they try to stab you on the way. They try to devalue you. Oh. And this is like the classic one with John Rom. First of all, he wins third place in the PIP money program, and suddenly when he goes over to live, he he doesn't move the needle anymore. That's the whole big Brando Shambley thing, and you can see it forming on X. Also, all the narratives are the same. Everyone's like. Well, actually, he's not a needle mover. And then people just get in line and say that repeat the same sad narratives. Yeah. We're going to see it again. Oh, Anthony Kim was never that good. He was just a belt buckle. No, the guy was a real deal. And the master set the record with most birdies in one round, 11, yes. 11 birdies. Destroyed Sergio in, in the Ryder Cup. He's a legend. He's going to be great for the game. He's the big name you want. Not like we saw on the PGA Tour or the DP World Tour last week, for that matter where it's just like, who are these guys? And why are these European Danish twins finishing second on both tours? But as far as, as far as Anakin is concerned, I'd love to see him play. I can't wait to see him play again. Like really, yo, I, yo, let's go. Like, that's all I gotta say, like, let's go. Let's be realistic about Anthony Kim though. We're being real, right? Real talk. This guy has any game left in him. How can you be out of professional golf for like a decade and then show up and compete with Bryson, Brooks, Cam Smith, DJ, even Phil's still playing well. Like, what what are Anthony Kim's chances of actually having a good season in the, in the, in the Live League? I'm going to relate this to the UFC. George St. Pierre takes out a bunch of years, comes back, beats Bisping for the title in a different weight class. It can happen. The dude, Anthony Kim, he had like leg issues. He he pulled something running, Achilles. He pulls his left thumb. He's, he's all injured. Those injuries have healed up. He's stronger than ever. If the injuries are healed, we don't know. Right. Time will tell. And we talk about this every single week when we do our preview shows. You have to be able to have the balls to go low to win a live event. You got to be the guy, like you said, 11 birdies in a round. Those are the guys who move the needle every week when you're watching live. Just a wild show because there's only 54 chances to score against 72. Anthony Kimwood, I think he's fit amazing in the live league. Mayakoba, here we go. We're here, baby. Who's ready to get Montezuma's revenge? Huh? Cheech? Let's go. Glimmer in your eye. Are you guys ready to make your picks? Gentlemen, I'm going with Peter Uline. Oh, what a great pick. He was he was at at the top or near the top in almost all of the stats metrics. It was insane. Greens in regulation, putting average. He putting average, he was higher than Cam. 77. He was tied with Cam at number one with 77. Him and Kokrak. So I figure. Do the do the math. Go in early because, in all honesty, I don't see myself picking any of the other range goats at any point now that Gooch is no longer on the team. So I might as well use this pick early, considering the fact that he did come in second place last year. Uh, I'm going to go with Brendan Grace. I think he's finally due to break through in a, a, a live event. He's been he played well pretty much all year. He played well, and I know he had a high finish in my Cobra last year. And I just think let's let's go. Gotta, but gotta. what I'm going to do is. Do it, do Take it, Jeff. Do it. Texan born, Mexican descent in Mexico, Abraham answer for week one. Home crowd of some sort, um, having the Mexican descent. And I think he um he's one of those guys that we talked about a lot last year. He can he can he can put a low round, a couple rounds together. Where do we think in the team team competition, where do we think Legion 13 
starts off their inaugural season? I think they're powerhouses, but I think the format's so different and they're just going to get into it. I think the other teams have more of maybe not as much skill. John Rahm's the best golfer in the world right now, but I think that is going to put them in those. So you top think the three. format's going to mess with him and his team? Yes, they know how to and play their golf. Whole, their, their whole head, team right? is going to be made up of new people. To right, to, uh, right, they're going to play yeah, good golf yeah. because they're professionals. They're just going to go out there and they're going to play their game and they're going to play well. But that might drop them just down that one. They're just going to come up short. I think they're going to go from second. I don't think they'll even be in the top five. Um, okay, John Rom, John Rom has come out openly and ripped this golf course. He hates this golf course. Hates it. You know, you got a college kid. Um, who you don't know how he's gonna respond. Yeah, I mean, but listen, he could he could be like done up and go lights out. Who knows? But I, I just I just first tournament. I don't think I I don't have faith in him. First one. I get what you're okay. saying. It can go that way or it can go the other way. Where this kid has something to prove. He plays lights out. He plays phenomenal. John Rahm, we know is one of the best golfers in the world. Yeah, it works. Put it yeah. together, it could work. Right. Can we can we insert a picture or video of Aaron in the pond? Screaming, that would be great for views. Aaron, this is him telling you you need to do that. Speaking of beautiful islands and beautiful views, we're going to freaking Mayakoba. We're not going, but we would love to go to Mayakoba. But we got Mayakoba coming up. First tournament of the year. Still need a pick from you, Pants. We need a team pick, which team's taken down Mayakoba, and we need an individual champion for the week. I'm going to go with the crushers for my team, and I'm going with Bryson for my pick. Strong, Strong like bull. Don't think about it. Just do it. Jay, you got something to add on? I do. This is getting wild. If I'm if I'm not in first place in this contest after the first three weeks, I'll shave the whole thing. 